Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create hyperlinks in Excel. And we're going to cover how to create a hyperlink to a web address uh, or the URL. Uh, how to hyperlink in a cell within the same tab or worksheet. So I've got um, a cell here, A100 down here, that's got a, some text. I want to hyperlink there. And the third thing I'm going to show is how to hyperlink to a cell in a different tab in the same spreadsheet. So we have this search engines tab or worksheet and maybe we want to hyperlink to cell A1 there. Let's go back here to the main tab. So there actually are two ways that we can insert a hyperlink or put a hyperlink, uh, use create a hyperlink within Excel. One is with the insert hyperlinks feature and the other one is actually with a function called hyperlink. So let's go with our first first examples here. So let's say we wanted to go to Google, the Google website, and I just type in Google, uh, control enter to stay in the same cell, and I want to create a hyperlink here. So there's three ways we can do that. One is in the, whoops, I was in the insert tab. In the insert tab, in the links group, there is a hyperlink icon. So you can just click there, and it, the insert hyperlink window comes up. That's one way. The other way is actually when you, you can select the cell and right click that and go under hyperlink. That also brings up this window. And the third way is actually a keyboard shortcut. When you've had the cell selected, you can just press the keyboard shortcut control K. And that also brings up the insert hyperlink window. Now if we want to go to a website, we just select the existing file web page here, link to, and type in the address of the website. So I can just type www.google.com. So it's already in there, uh, but basically you don't really need to type the HTTPS. Uh, it, Excel's smart enough to add that in front of there. So I click OK, and this will go to Google. So if I click here, we can see the web browser should come up. There and see the web browser came up, and we're at Google. Let me close this web browser. So that is going to a URL. Now the second example here we go is how do you hyperlink to a cell within the same tab? So the same thing you can just click in here. Let's say I want to go to cell A100. So I'm just going to type A100. Oh, look like it's already hyperlinked here. I think I was preparing this earlier and that got hyperlinked. So I'm going to go ahead and select these cells and remove all type of formatting in there. I just press Alt E A A. It deletes the cell contents and any formatting in there. So let me go back into cell B3, type cell A100, Control Enter. Now there's just that value there. And then I can just type or press Control K. And I want to link to a place in this document. So basically now it has a different view in this window. The cell range I want to go, I can either click here and go go down there and click it. No, it doesn't let me do that. Well what I can do is just click or just type in cell A100 because I know where it is. And it's in the main worksheet or tab. And click OK. And if I click this, it goes takes me to that cell down there. Well, let's say I want to go to a different tab in the worksheet. And I want to go to cell A1. What I can do, I just type the, the word that, or type the text that I want to go to take me there, search engines, or just name it anything. Control Enter and also control K and I want to go to cell A1 in search engines. Click OK and once I click that it will take me to this tab. Another way that you can do that is um, do this. Let me go ahead and delete that and Alt E A A to delete anything in there is if we go to search engines and you're in this tab, what the what you can do is kind of the reverse of what we did. Basically, we select a cell, we right click it, press the Alt key, 
and bring our cursor back to the main tab, release the Alt key, and go into cell B4, which we were, which we want to put our hyperlink. Then release the right key, and then create a hyperlink here. So what it's going to do, it's going to put the contents of uh, cell A1 in here and insert a hyperlink to that tab. So if we click this, it's going to take us there. So that's another way to do it. I kind of prefer the first way because uh, it seems like a little bit more intuitive. But uh, that's another way you can do it. If you're already at the tab, you can basically kind of go backwards. Now that were the those were the examples using the insert hyperlinks feature. Now the other way we can do it is with the hyperlink function. So with, the, with any function in Excel, you have to proceed it with an equal sign. So we have an equal sign here. Oops, you can see that this part, I was working on this earlier. These blue lines probably are some of the formatting. Uh, let me go ahead and delete all the formatting values in there. Alt E A A, delete that. So let's go and try the formula again. Equal sign, and I want to type hyperlink, hyperlink. In. Excel smart enough, I can just tab to have it complete that. Now, I want the link location. So what we need to do is type in the location. Now, we have to type HT. I think we can type www.google.com, but we have to enclose it in quotes, double quotes. Double quotes, www.google.com, close quotes. And that's the link location. Now we also want to give it a friendly name. That's one of the optional um, parameters that you can put in there. You can basically not have anything and the function will still take. But let's call it Google. So double quotes, Google, close double quotes, and then close parentheses, control enter. And you can see here Google is highlighted. And if we press if we click on Google, uh, see what happened? We need to add the HTTP plus cancel that. Let's go back into our formula bar up here. Click in front of there, type HTTP colon backslash black backslash. Control enter. And let's try it again. And now it should take us and open up the browser and go to Google. So that's one of the things about using the hyperlink function is you need to some of the formatting you need to kind of understand a little bit more how to input the values within the function. Let's go into the insert function dialog window. So some of the values there see how it is. it's not as uh, I guess friendly as if you're using the insert hyperlinks uh, feature. So let's cancel that. But So let's go on to our next example. How do you hyperlink a cell within the same tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and type equal sign hyperlink tab to have it complete for us. And one thing interesting about the hyperlink function is, as I mentioned before, it's not as friendly. So what you need to do with the link location is you actually have to type in the whole spreadsheet name. So I've saved this spreadsheet as hyperlink. So what we need to do is type in uh, open quotes and then the file name you have to put that in square brackets so it's square brackets hyperlink dot xls oops xlsx because this is a Excel 2007 file and then close the brackets and since it's cell A100 I need to find it. I need to type that in A 100. Close quotes. And then the friendly name, that also needs to be in quotes. A100. Close quotes. Close parentheses. Control enter to stay in there. And now when I click there, it takes us down there. So a little bit more involved with the hyperlinks function. Now how about if we want to go to a different tab in the same spreadsheet? So this is a, even a little bit a little bit more complicated or a little bit more involved, not that complicated. So basically equal hyperlink 
Let's see. And then tab to have it complete that. So basically, I'm going to have to, in addition to entering the spreadsheet name, also need to enter in the tab name. So the spreadsheet name, as I mentioned before, oh, we start, start this off with the uh, open quotes. So the spreadsheet name, of course, is hyperlink dot xlsx close and then to add the uh, worksheet name I have to close that and close that within a single quote so single quote search and the reason why I have to put it in a single quote is because if this was one word then I wouldn't need it but since it's two words because there's a space in here I need the single quotes and I'll show you why. So we do search engines, oops, search engines, close quotes, and then because I have it on a different tab, I need to put a exclamation sign in front. So exclamation sign, and then I want to go to cell A1, right? A1. And then close quotes, and then give it a, a friendly name open quotes search engine engines close quotes close parentheses control enter to stay in the same cell and let me click search engines and it will take me to that tab so let's see if, let's see what happens when maybe I just caught search engine just close if let's see let's let's show you the example if I didn't put this in close in a single quotes what would happen I delete that single quote there I delete that single quote there and if I click that reference is not valid right because basically Excel sees that as two words or maybe it's trying to see that as one word but if I don't have a space there and I don't have a space let me go right click here uh, rename I remove that space go back to main I click here, see it will take me there. That's why we need to have the tab name in single quotes. So let me go ahead and redo that. Put the space back. And put the space back here. Put our single quotes here between search engines. Control enter and it works again now. So then why would you want to create why would you want to create a hyperlink using the hyperlink function instead of the insert hyperlink feature? It, obviously it's much easier, but let's say that because for example, you've got you're creating a spreadsheet and you've got hundreds of this is only 3 here, but let's make a copy and let's maybe say we've got like a 100 examples of this right and you don't want to go and create something an easy if I just type in Google whoops let's go ahead and delete the formatting and value there let's type uh, Google and then we want to right click or control K and type in www.google.com click OK. We'd have basically have to right click a hundred times and, and do that. So in order for us not to do that, what you can do is create the, oops, it's the values there, Alt E A A. Use the hyperlink function. Oops. Do that again. Alt E A A. Delete all the formatting there. Equal hyperlink. And then I can concatenate this. What I'll do, well, let me first create the link location and it will be cell B2 and then I want to give it a friendly name cell A2 close parentheses so it's created the hyperlink there and I go back in cell C C2 and just kind of double click this and it will copy the formula all the way down so basically I didn't have to do an insert a hyperlink for each one so that may be one of the advantages of using the hyperlink uh, function. Uh, 
So the last thing I wanted to cover is turning off the automatic hyperlink creation. So sometimes you have have times where you're just typing in the web address www.google.com and you see Excel has automatically actually created a hyperlink for you. See how is it how it's done that? And maybe you don't want it to do that. Um, so what you can do is go into the office the office button here, go into Excel options and go under I believe it's under proofing and autocorrect options. Go to autocorrect options here and auto format as you type and uncheck this box internet and network pass for hyperlinks. So you've unchecked that, click OK, click OK. Next time you type in www. Let's type in Bing, Bing.com. It doesn't do it. www.google.com. It doesn't do it. So some people find this annoying, where Excel automatically creates a hyperlink for you. Uh, I do too, so I usually turn that off. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching.